Now introducing the prototype for the Eagle Racing TTO2 FRD. So here you go, this is the Eagle Racing TTO2 FRD. As you can see here, they have a brand new design that sets them apart from all the other chassis on the market. They have a uh, motor to uh, belt and pulley system here, then followed by a shaft going to the back with a solid spool in the rear. And the reason why this is such a great idea is that it will prevent the, um, I guess like other chassis like the, uh, the wrap up or the, uh, the MST will keep the gears from breaking. This will never break on you. That's that's so awesome. You also got the shaft going to the back here. Looks like it's a carbon fiber graphite composite, kind of like what the, ch the decks are made out of. So this should be super strong right here. <clears throat> and uh, <laughs> I got a little space right here where the, uh, the uh, stock TTO2 uh, rear motor equipment would go. So you can see that they did leave the back as kind of a um, homage to the, the old-fashioned TTO2. Um, the gear case looks like it's plastic. I'm not sure if any makers out there make a uh, aluminum gear case, but uh, this doesn't take away from the awesomeness of this chassis. Uh, you got the low control arms. Uh, they're borrowing from the R31, which is a, it's a great, it works, it's great. Uh, sh shocks here. Uh, looks like these are the old-fashioned uh, old-fashioned TTO2 shocks. I'm not sure what they'll give you, but just keep in mind guys, this is still a prototype, uh, meaning you see that all this equipment up here, as you see here, it's not finished, it's still silver. That's how new this chassis is. The, um, for the stealth mounts, I went ahead and I kind of like rigged this like little guy up here. I, I sandwiched a spacer and spacer and I put the screw right there to hold this in place so I can use the uh, those square holes that come with the TTO2, which I'm not exactly fond of, but I made it work. And I got some, oh, check this out. They have a rear weight tray. This is about 30, about 40 grams right here. Uh, you can change, eventually they should be giving you options for changing out these weights. So that'll be amazing. And you can just, you know, toy with your weight balance from the rear with that. Uh, I went ahead and added a little bit more to the rear because um, I'm trying to go for a 50-50 weight setup right now. Because uh, from what I've seen, that gives it really good handling. As you see here, I'm using a ballistic uh, Novak motor. Uh, Eagle Racing has a plentiful supply of these and for a great price. These are super awesome. You see here, it looks really good with the chassis black. And I went ahead and I uh, ordered the, uh, the blue sleeve because normally it comes with a orange sleeve on there. So now it's freaking awesome blue to match the rest of the chassis. And right here, they have the Eagle Racing gyro, which works so well. I got in the back position right here. I'm actually able to run it pretty high without the wheels wobbling or jittering. It works really well right there. Got the, uh, the Eagle Racing Kinetic Combo. Oh, this, this ESC is so good. I got my good old trusty Futaba BLS 451. This chassis is capable of incredible steering lock. Take a look at that right there. Of course you're using the, uh, the, the Eagle Racing Knuckles with the lower control arm. The upper control arm has changed and just like the other ones you can uh, take out the screw right there and adjust it with your camber your camber tool and then tighten it up when you're done. Uh, because this still is the prototype as you may have seen in other pictures online, the, the bumper is actually, this is the stock TTO2 bumper. The new bumper is going to look a lot better, it looks so awesome. It's going to be sharp and kind of pointy and the, the front deck too, this one also will change. It's gonna look so good. But just imagine once this chassis is uh, fully blue, it's gonna look so good. The, uh, the steering rack arms, they have changed. Uh, these ones are more suitable for this car. And uh, you see the little bit raised right there. And they got the, uh, the Ackerman adjustment uh, flipped upside down so it doesn't interfere with the, uh, the belt pulley system inside there. If you take a look inside there, they have a new, uh, that's a steering stopper. 
and what they should be including with your car kit. Uh, what I got right here in the bag, you have an assortment of different pulleys and belts. So you can change your FDR to whatever way you like. These belts and these pulleys, uh, there's going to be uh, two types. Um, there's going to be one that fits on the bottom one down here because this is actually has, it has a bigger inner diameter. Like this one goes right here and actually so do the rest of these big ones right here. These smaller ones actually go uh, on the motor, the motor where the pinion would go. So you can change these. Uh, take a look at what I got written down. Got a 16, got a 18, 15, and a 16. Uh, as you see right here, here is one of the adjustable um, steering stoppers. They should give you an assortment of those. I got them right here in the bag because I got different sizes. Got 3.5, 10, 2, and this one over here, and 2.5. Uh, currently, the one I have inside there is a uh, 1.5, I believe, and that works perfect for me. And you see here, this looks like similar to the wrap-up uh, conversion kit for the Yokomo DP. Uh, they got this motor support that goes all the way around and you actually have an adjustment here, you can hold it tight. This is such a great design. Uh, currently I'm using the blue springs in the front uh, with the red springs as you've seen before. In the rear, uh, my chassis balance right now is 50-50 uh, and this chassis is a beast. It is driving so well right now. Um, <laughs> after driving this chassis, I've been tuning my other cars to match what it's, what's going on with this one. And I'm, I'm not sure what it is, but I guess just with the streamline and kind of everything kind of evenly spread through the middle like this and how tight, it's just is very fast reacting. And uh, I'm just liking everything about this chassis at the moment. It's so good. And let's take a look at what I got with my steering lock. See, here's static right now. I got about one degree toe out, and I'm gonna go full lock. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. Pretty good, about 75 degrees. And the other side, that's 75 degrees right there, with almost parallel lock. But this chassis is driving like a dream right now. And I can't wait until the full kit comes out so I get my hands on one of those. It looks so good with everything all blue and the, uh, the, the bumper's different. And currently, I guess I got the stock TTL2 rear bumper right here, which is kind of like a, uh, a light gray, so it doesn't really go with the rest of the chassis. But I can't complain. <laughs> uh, right here, they have these, uh, I guess like the TTO2. These are adjustable, so if you have different size batteries, you can make it wider, make it skinnier, and you got the good old rubber band that holds it down right there, nice and taut. Um, uh, also, 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 it may seem like there's no middle support brace, but it is in fact underneath right here. If you take out the battery, you can see it's right inside there, supported by two pillars right here, and they connect to this uh, br uh, bracket and that bracket right there, which connects to this rear hub. So with this pulley setup, um, I got a 28 with a 17 on the motor, and this little guy right here is a 16, and the bottom one is a 29. Uh, running back in here with the stock TTO2 gear, it is a 35 and 15. Uh, if, if I had done my math correctly, my FDR on this car should be 5.50, which is pretty quick and works great. It's uh, kind of in line with what I have on my other chassis. As you see here, I'm using the Eagle Racing Stealth Mounts, which I think is great for hiding those body posts so you can make your car look even more realistic. But really, this is a awesome, awesome chassis. It drives so well. Once again, I can't wait for the full, uh, the full version of it to come out, where everything is the same color, everything is blue and looking nice. And uh, they said they also have it uh, as an available option in gold as well, which can look so good. Also, don't forget to uh, pick up floating brake disc calipers. So good. Gives it a realistic look. And if you can manage to find those little decals, you can put little decals as Brembo on there. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my review on the Eagle Racing TTO2 FRD chassis. Uh, definitely pick one up as soon as it comes out because it's a freaking amazing chassis. You'll definitely love it.